Hello everybody and welcome back to our journey through Azeroth Season 2. I'm your host Van4. Find us where we left off in the last episode. We are in Storm Peaks. And hopefully, fingers crossed, my uh, <laughs> PC will be a little bit more stable than it was yesterday or rather the last time I recorded. Because whilst you didn't see it, um, it's starting to play silly buggers again where it just decides to, you know, launch and then turn itself off. We're placing a few landmines down this section here. Because we're going to try and destroy some of these idiots. There's one dead. Two. And we'll just keep planting. Three. Wow, come on, there's so many of them walking past. I don't know why I'm not getting more. Pretty sure it didn't take this long last time. There's four. Five, six, seven. Come on. Let's place one there. One there. Eight. I guess I gotta place them all in sort of close proximity to one another. There's another group coming. Nine. Ten. Eleven and twelve would be really useful right about now. There's eleven. Come on. Really? <laughs> really? There we go. Twelve. Blast my way over here. Now you may recall <laughs> we've got to go back inside of this cave yet again. This is something that we had gone into twice in the last episode, uh, and I actually need to get a goblin out of here in one piece, which is something I didn't do, but I should have done. Can't quite recall why I didn't do it last time. I think it was because uh, I forgotten the fact that they need to be escorted out, and I just ran out. But there should be a goblin down here somewhere. It looks like there's probably someone in front of me as well. Yeah, there they are. There's an injured goblin. She'll do. It might not even have been that. It may have been that I forgot to talk to him. I generally don't remember. But, in any case, we have finally got our injured goblin. Which way are you going to go? This way. Okay. Then which way are you going to go? Let's just hang fire. Mate, you're going this way. Down it goes. If only I had the ability to put a speed buff on these NPCs. Come on, we're almost out. Wow, how far do you want me to take you? Right, good. Okie pokey. We'll get these two handed in. Hopefully that will uh, finish off these quests. I can't remember. 
I vaguely remember there being a quest over here at Gums Bane. But I don't think we ever did that one on uh, Serenalil. Because I'm pretty sure by this point we were high enough to continue. Right. Although the ring needs upgrading soon, I think we're going to get some more rings. So let's go with the shoulders here. Oh, and choose reward. All right, two-hander or one-hander. I need a one-hander to upgrade what we're using already. So let's do that and that, and then move this one over to there. There we go. Good, good, good. There we go. So I need to find a transport power cell and then activate um, a teleporter which I think is near the back and then I'll get the quest to go out and actually kill uh, Garm I believe. Boom. They're both down. And then the teleporter, I think, is over yonder. There it is. And this, I think, just allows us to teleport backwards and forwards to and from um, K3. Hi there. down and I need to use this don't I yep there we go here we are time is money friend hand that one in kill six gun watchers six snowblind devotees and then we've got this quest hey how you doing have a good one just to place explosive <laughs> place an explosive bundle and then kill Fargot. We're also just above, can you see, um it's the ziggurat in Zoldrak. Wow, he just got blown up. Okay, in we go, let's get cracking here. Times of the Essence took me a little while to uh, get recording today, so the one thing I keep saying is, oh, you know, we'll make sure that these episodes are always 40 minutes long. I just can't do that, unfortunately. Ah, I was trying to kill that thing. Bar staff, right. Um, don't blow yourself up, fool. Right, let's head on the side of here. I'm pretty sure it's here that we plant this thing. No, Frost Guts Altar we need. Uh, so I don't actually need to be going that way. Hi there. him down. This looks like an altar, but it's not. I'm not entirely sure I'm going the right way here, because this seems to be going up rather than down. Though it might be one of those inverted caves that heads upwards. They do appear now and again. Yeah, I almost think it might be, actually. One, two, three. Boom. Hey, Muffin Man. Right, let's get this done. Quick, grab your balls. Oh, 
And of course, that was aimed at Tembok Bali, not anybody watching. Don't want you guys grabbing your balls, thanks. <laughs> and by balls, I meant the little health orbs. But you guys knew what I meant, didn't you? Of course you did. Right. Well, here's the altar. So... Explosives have been placed. Gotta kill this guy now. Might finish him off with the punch combo. Or attempt to finish him off, should I say. There we go. He's done. I just need to kill one watcher. And it just so happens to be... Oh, one right below me. There we go. Done and done. Now all that's left is to get out of this cave. It says the cave is collapsing. Naturally, they're not going to drop us in this cave. Um, why do I feel like it's this way to get out? It's because it is this way to get out. Blitz our way forwards here. Not bothered about these things. Although I probably should be, judging by the fact I'm now being beaten to death. But I'll let five of them. Let's just heal quickly. Uh, have I got a potsy on? I do have a potsy on. Get off me! Ah! There we go. Right, you can follow all you like, mate. You're never going to catch up to me. Whew. Yo! Hand that in, and then return to K3. We're going to get another one-handed weapon, so that's good. Keep it real. And that is actually really good, because we don't need the chest plate. Hmm. So, grab that. That goes over the top of that one. We now have two one-handed weapons. That better. No, no fear gets us some money and when all else fails speak to Rickett to make use of Rickett's D16 propelled delivery device to enter further into the storm peaks have a good one fine and she also has a daily there but I'm not interested in doing that really I think that's going to drop us off up here it's just a short flight down here um can't remember this may even be where uh, the dwarves are Although I've got a feeling it was more over here, but never mind. Yeah, it's just over there that we need to head for the mines. And that will take us through to here. Uh, but also, obviously, the Brunhilde village quest line uh, is through this one here. Which is, I'm pretty sure, where we'd got to on Serenalil. We were doing some stuff with wolves and the like. It seems so long ago that we were talking about this, but in reality it wasn't actually that long ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, where exactly are you taking us? That's an amazing quest. I really want to be doing that. And that's the one with all the uh, Helm's Meat drake lords on top of their uh, drakes and you get to jump between drakes and oh it's brilliant can't wait all right so it's dropping us off up here i don't really recall there being much up here to be fair it's because it's a horde location that's why just got placed on my ass for the horde oh and this actually Strength constitutes an inn apparently so at least I'll be able to rest so that's good there's also a flight point up here as well missing tracker on the braces and boom, thank you very much right so where we've got to go here down here down here let's go and get the burlap wrap note first over and down it looks like it's probably going to be there what 
What does that do? Scares a cave dweller warg for 10 seconds. I'm not sure why I'd need to scare one of them, but never mind. Right, where's this note? Is it over here? Well, that's the, uh, that's the suggestion. Wait, there's a snow pile. Got it. Got it. Um, we'll come back to these ones. Probably next episode. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because, of course, we pretty much did these uh, playing Serenalil. So they're probably quite firm in people's minds at the moment. We will do them, naturally, because you can't progress through the rest of the storyline in Storm Peaks until you've done them. But let's go and do something different first. So this is taking us inside this cave. We're sitting pretty on 42, ooh, 40, yeah, 4,200 gold. Probably makes sense if I were to, oh, and actually we can get the wargs here as well. Punch, 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 Kill. Kill. Three furs. That'll do. Two furs. Then apparently we have a quest hand in inside of here. Right, the fact that we've actually upgraded our damage abilities and yet there's not much cracking with our damage is uh, winding me up somewhat. Talk to me. Later. Oh, okay, what does he want me to do now? Cave mushrooms and a toxic gland. I'm going to assume the toxic gland comes from the Jormungas. That's what I'm assuming, at least. So how does this work? Oh, okay. Sends them off in fear. That's all of those done now. I expect that wolf will come back at some stage. I think he was just coming back then. Let's uh, roll away to victory here. Grimorak? What the hell is this thing? I don't need it, but it's attacking me anyway, so... Come on! Let's uh, sail past these lot. Grab this mushroom because there's not mushroom. Oh dear. At what point is that joke gonna get old? I wonder. Still need a toxic gland. So I'm assuming then there's something I'm missing. Let's just consult the journal quickly. Uh One of those Jumonga stung me there. there. Alright, so I think he does actually need Grimorak, there's Grimorak. What was he doing down the other end of the cave? Alright, I don't need any of those. We will scoot them past this lot. 
So, by the looks of things, I'm just going to need to kill more of these Zhongga. Until we get the toxic gland, a bit like that. And then... Grab this. And we can smash our way back up this tunnel. Also need to find relics of Ulduar. Now they drop off of quite a few enemies uh, in this area. They're used as reputation hand-ins for the Sons of Hodir. Obviously not to be confused with the character from Game of Thrones. I think he's Hodor as opposed to Hodir. Anyway. Who you be? Oh, you are joking. I've got a... Ah. Annoyances. Annoyances, annoyances, annoyances. It is so bloody annoying. Oh, and then you get interrupted by the door, no less, as well. All right, two seconds, guys. Be right back. All right, you probably guess who it was. Yes, it was the postman. Of course it was. Of course it was. I always always get interrupted when I'm doing my recording by the postman. And if it's not the postman, of course, it'll be my phone going off. But anyway... Let's go and kill this guy again. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab him and pull him back. I'd rather not be having to do the whole run all the way back. There we go. And then alley oop and alley oop. Oh, wow. Okay. Probably going to have to take out him at some stage, like now. down and then alley -oop. what you want and we get a belt stay away from the voodoo. stay away from the voodoo man yeah okay I will stay away from your voodoo also move away from these wolves. Not that I'm running away from danger, but I'd just rather not have to fight anything unnecessarily. Right. So we can go and get these two handed in now. Um, and I don't know for shizzle, but it may be worthwhile me stopping off and killing a few dwarves to get these relics of all dwar. Yeah, and he's going to give us a load of pale ale for some reason. Well, ales in general. Uh, Saranite below us, but I'll leave that for now. Oh, and what does he actually say about these relics? There are relics and treasures of ancient Uldor scattered throughout the mountains, most likely on the yeah, possession of the various sentient races. And whilst I do think they drop on uh, other things, they're I think more easily collected from these guys. There you go, Relic of Uldar. Yeah, Saranite and Lich Bloom. Okay, let's grab this guy as well. 
punch our way to victory. There's those two down as well. I've got a feeling that they have a chance of dropping a quest item as well. Although now they don't seem to be dropping at all. Really? Alright, she seems to be smashing it at the moment. What's up here? Uh, that surprises me somewhat that I got relics on the first two, or three. No, two. And then all of a sudden, no relics whatsoever. I know that's not a guaranteed drop rate, but I think it's a pretty high drop rate. And yet, nada. Absolutely nada. Alright, well, in which case then, again, I've got a feeling, and I'm not going to say it, I was about to quote a song there, but <laughs> I've got a feeling that there might be some dwarves around here somewhere that I can destroy. Maybe up here? Mechanical Attendant. No, that doesn't help me. There's also a flight point up here. Uh, oh, there's even a quest. Oh yes, I remember where I am now. And this actually might be a good location to try and nab ourselves some more relics. Because I think this area is being taken over by dwarves maybe. Stormforged, storm forged raiders. That's it. Oh, I never actually got that. Right, let's hand in here. Hand in, pick up. Let's also repair whilst we're here, and we may as well also sell. Get rid of all this crud that we're holding on to. Yeah, don't need any of you, or you really, or you, or you, or you, or you, or you, or you. Good. So he's getting us to get enchanted earth. Pick up that flight point, thank you. What have we got down here? Oh, these are the bits of enchanted earth, okay. Let's go and grab these quickly then, we need seven of these. As I say, back back when uh, Wrath of the Lich King was released, this was an area that you, you needed a flying mount for, because there was no way you were going to complete half the quests in this zone. And if you progress through the level system correctly when the expansion was released, by the time you got to Storm Peaks you were pretty much 80 anyway, but I think you only needed to obtain a th mm, possibly 78 before you could get cold weather flying, because this was a 78 to 80 zone, or maybe 77 to 80 zone. Uh, Ice Crown was pretty much an 80 only zone, might have been 79 to 80 perhaps. Right, we'll get the rest of these bits. There's loads down here. There's actually three. I was about to use my uh, flying serpent kick, but didn't think that would be a good idea. I want to know how my uh, spinning crane kick only lasts like 1.4 seconds. Spinning crane kick damage is increased by 40% for each unique target you're struck in the last 15 seconds of tiger palm plaque. Yeah, okay, great. 
right, so we need one more of these bad boys. And I think there might be one here. Yeah, there is. So we'll grab him. I'll try and get the final few relics before we finish off for today. Um, so let's try on this guy. No, he didn't have one on him. He did though. I was beginning to think I wasn't going to get any then. I'm going to have to do a quest for these uh, things anyway. Probably in the next episode. But as I say, I just want to get the final few relics done. And we're pretty much due a... Um, we are pretty much due a level up any second now actually come on relics where art thou Still no relic. Zzz. Double bubble. Right, one more. That'd be really, really helpful if it came off of one of these guys. There's a bit of a waste there, but never mind. Punch, 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 Thank you. Oh, come on. So many enemies. And yet no relics. What is going on here? Right. Let's get you down. You're dead. Way there we go. Now that really shouldn't have been like a forced quest because in reality you just keep doing quests around this area and you'll get them organically. But I just wanted to get that done. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is hand in, pick up any future quests from this guy. Like that and that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to use the Flight Master to get back up here and hand in those two. Uh, no, it's there. Yeah, there we go. Because I'm pretty sure this will be quicker um, than flying myself. Although we are actually flying kind of away from where we need to be. But I may as well start doing the outro. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please do all those lovely social media things. Please like, comment, share, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you next time for more in our journey through Azeroth. We're going to get some more done in Storm Peaks. Hopefully get a full video out of the next one. But until then, I'll hand in... Take care. May your blades never dull. You braces there, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, take care, and I'll see you Look next time. Die. Bye bye for now. Dull.